Now, you created a concept uh, that is inconsistent, does not align with human reality or human complexity. And you invented that concept because your culture has historically been abominable towards women. The West has never known what to do about women. You went back and forth for centuries trying to decide if women were goddesses or witches, tools of the devil, cause of original sin. There's never been any people on the face of the earth so confused and twisted up about women as the West. And then you came up with a so-called solution, uh, which was to create this even more confused concept of equality. And then you'll accuse the Muslim world, and in fact, the entire non-Western world, of being misogynistic and patriarchal, which is what you are. You would accuse the rest of the world for that, because the rest of the world never talked about equality the way that you do. But the reason we didn't talk about equality was because we were never as confused as you are and have always historically been about being humans. And then you try to force us to try to explain our beliefs to you according to your framework. To try to explain to you, for example, uh, how Islam actually upholds the equality of the sexes in terms of both men and women having equal innate value but they have different roles in society and so on. There's no reason why we need to do this. Why should we try to make our clarity align with your confusion? Why is it even necessary? Why do you find it necessary to believe in the fantasy of equality when we all know that some people are better than others? We all know that some people are smarter than others. We all know that some people are more capable than others. And if that's the case, and it is the case, then subhanAllah, I hope that we're not all born equal because that would be a severe indictment against anyone and everyone who fails in their life to become an astronaut or to become a brain surgeon or to become a brilliant writer or an artist.